Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am back doing another Bolton episode. So, uh, I haven't done one in a while, but I've decided, seeing as how FIFA 20 is out in like two weeks, uh, I'm gonna do the last two episodes of this so we can finish the season because uh, I've got seven games left. I'm gonna be playing all seven. Um, so I figured I may as well finish the season and then that will lead me straight into FIFA 20 where I think I'm going to be doing another Bolton. I'm not 100% uh, sure on that one. Uh, so we go into this episode 8 points behind the playoffs. May be able to get the playoffs done. I'm going to do 4 games today. So it's Ipswich at home, Middlesbrough at home, Derby away, Villa at home. So Ipswich at home first. So for this match I'm going with Ben Anik. Yeah, Ben Anik in goal, Mark Little right back, Beavers, Jones, Taylor across the rest of the defence. Then I've gone Lowe and Murphy holding, Duke McKenna, Oz Tuma, Phil Shirt in, that, in behind the striker who will be uh, Hall. So I've gone, I've changed it up a little bit. Ipswich haven't won away yet this season. This is where they go and probably end up winning their first game. Oh. Oh, Hall. Easy save for Ben Anik. Oh. Come on, Ostrima. Into Hall. Surely this has got to be a goal. Oh. Balkowski makes the save. And Guion Edwards has the freedom of the right hand side. Until Taylor gets across. And it's a throw in. That was a good tackle, so I'll take that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, yes, Anik. Oh, and Sears misses. We have got very lucky with that one. The referee has indicated nope. will be a Can't do anything with that one. And then he gives the ball to John Nolan. It looks like we are not going to be able to get into the playoffs in this one. Nope. If we have a second half like that first half, we are guaranteed to be, not be getting into the playoffs pretty much. Yes. Jason Lowe. Yes. Okay, there we go. 1 0. Uh, so, yeah, we could be moving in on the playoffs. Playoffs might. The Swansea might, might be winning. I don't know. Oh, okay. Took a bit longer than I should have done on that one. Right, Luke Murphy. Fine. Is this Oz Tumor? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Bartos Balkowski makes the save. Was Tuma. Bullshit heads down. Hall can't keep it in. Okay. And this is where they go and equalise, probably. Nope. Wow. He just ran into my keeper's legs. Right, low with another great ball over the top for Duke McKenna this time. Great ball in. Oh, Phil Trump is at the back post, but defender gets there first. Right. Corner in from Oztuma. Oh, Chambers heads it away. Throw in. Oztuma will take to Yannick Fulcher. We'll find Oztuma again. Oh, no. Oh, I don't even know what happened there. Uh, so, on comes Vela. On comes Kashkit, and then on comes. Oh, I don't really want to take either of them off. On comes Connolly for little as well. So three changes. And it full shut into Hall. Here we go. Surely this time. Oh, he hits the post. And they've just literally got someone in behind now. And there we go. And Andy Taylor heads down. Yannick Wilshire. 
Josh Vela finds Paul. Plays it in for Vela again. Scores. 2 0. Game, set, and match. Quick counter attack. Pretty decent goal. Bolton Wanderers goal. Number six, Josh Vela. There we go. Um, the win sealed, so just beat it, switch it. Probably should have been a bit more comfortable than what it was. But ultimately, goals from Jason Lowe and Josh Vela got us the win. Although, having said that, Ipswich had their, their shots. They just went on target. But we. Uh, wait, how did Swansea do? Swansea lost! So, that now puts us within five points with six games, six games remaining. So, 18 points left to play for with five points behind. So I've just seen, we have Middlesbrough, Derby and Aston Villa as our next three games. In a row. Within, like, days of each other. So this should be fun. So for this match, we've gone with Anakin Goal as normal, and then back four of Orkowski, Hobbs, Wilson, Muscat. Williams, Connolly in the holding, and then the next, uh, the midfield three. Amiobi, Vela, Connell and then Cash get up front on his own. Okay, easy one there for Olkowski to deal with. Uh, well, Osamba Longo never really threatened there. Joe Muscat. Okay, there we go. Luca Connell. Ooh, for some reason I thought that might have been going in. Right, corner in. Olkowski, yes! There we go. 1-0 up at home to Middlesbrough. Uh, we could be moving into two points, within two points of the playoffs. Uh, imagine if I played all the games, if I played every single game, we would, it would be too easy. No, defence falling apart, but we pick it up. Ah, uh, and that was a terrible tackle by Williams there. Ball had, was behind him. And oh, okay. We got away with that one. Right, here we go, Josh Vela. Ooh, Darren Randolph with a smart save. Oh, great ball in. Yes! What a ball in from Luca Connell. Sammy Amiobi with the header. Uh. That's a great goal. Puts us 2-0 up uh, at home to a side who's currently sat in the playoffs. We're chasing. We really mean business. We're going to hopefully get into those playoff spots. Oh, yes. Corner. Right. We know what happened last corner. Well, not last corner. First corner. Oh, Jack Hobbs. Oh. Yes, Williams. Scott Kashkut finds Josh Vela. Who can play it out wide to Sammy Amiobi, who for some reason just has so much space out there. Scott Kashkut, oh. Come on, Connell, yes. Get another good cross in. Amiobi, oh. That Connell Amiobi partnership, I say partnership, that combination has been lethal already nearly again I say nearly it, it was quite some way off but it nearly worked come on and that is how you do half of football what's a first half oh oh Koski oh Oh, yes, Scott Cashcut. If he didn't score, it would have been a penalty, so 3 0. He is probably one of the first players I would look to sign. Does he still play for Wickham? If he's still, if he's still at Wickham, uh, and I do a Bolton career mode on FIFA 20, 
He's one of the first players I would look to sign. I don't know whether Bolton will be able to afford him, but he can certainly certainly do a job. I mean, Obi. Oh, could have gone four 0 up then. Had my chance. Connolly and there we have it uh, full time 3-0 win against Middlesbrough so I uh, can't really have too many complaints with that one I think that was pretty much the perfect performance um, I think Amiobi got a goal and an assist yep all of our three that were sat in behind Scott Kashkett got an assist Amiobi also got a goal as well as Olkowski and Kashkett Derby drew, that's good. So we're now three points behind the playoffs. Yes, we are. Three points behind. That's going to be important that we win this one. Or at least don't lose, because otherwise we go six points behind them. So this is the team we're going with for this one. We've got Anakin Goal, Little Beavers Jones, Grounds along the back, Low and Murphy in front of them. In front of them, you've got Duke McKenna, Oz Tumor, Buckley, and then. Josh McGinnis up front. Now, it's very risky because we're up against a side that's literally just in the playoffs, which we're chasing. Um, we've got a rotated side, but I'm really bad at maintaining everybody's fitness so they can go from match to match when you've got like three days. Oh no. Riff! Oh wait, no, I think he's just going back and booking him. That's fine. I'll take the booking. I knew that was coming anyway, but it's a goal kick, so. Right, Tom Lawrence can get the ball in. Alfie Jones with a great clearance out for a, a, a corner. Tom Lawrence. Forsyth. And I don't know. I think that was Mason Mount there. No. Whoever's their striker, easy one for the keeper though. Simple passing around. Jonathan Grounds, and it's a corner. Goes out off of Harry Wilson. Which will be taken. Oh, taken by Ostrumer. Oh! Okay. Good save to be fair. Was straight at him though. McGinnis! Yes! Is that going to go down as a McGinnis goal, a an own goal? I don't know what he's doing for celebration. Either way, we are beating the side that's in sixth place. We're three points behind them going into this one. And we're beating them. Is it? It's gone down as a Scott, Scott Carson own goal. Nice. That's the first time I've known anything like that to happen. So, we will take it. Jason Lowe. Duke McKenna. Oh. And Ambrose, I don't even know who that is. Is that, is that F.A. Ambrose who plays for Celtic? Oh. And half time, 1 0 up. Um, slight bit of fortune to it but we'll take it. You're not going to complain, but could have been a much better performance. Oh. Okay, we've already managed to create a chance literally two minutes into the second half. Oh, and it looks like we may have a second chance. Oh, that was never going to work. Oh, great save by Ben Anik. Of course, they were going to, as soon as the ball fell to Harry Wilson there, he was going to pull the trigger. Of course. And, ooh. Not liking the way he dealt with that one. Great tackle there by Jason Lowe. Right. 
Luke Murphy, Jones McGinnis. Luke Murphy. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Right. Time for some changes. Uh, <laughs> last eight minutes. We've got to see out. So we bring on. Let's bring on Vela. Let's bring on. Kashka and let's bring. Actually, let's put. Yeah, let's put Vilcha up front. Oh, Josh Vela's got the whole of the half to himself, basically. And he squares it, and Yannick Vilcha seals the points for, for Bolton. And that's 2 0. And it's another another one where we snatched it, well, we, we secured it late on. And. I don't know what's going on here, but we're, we're moving clo ever closer to the playoffs. It will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. And we won full time at 2 0, so including an own goal from Scott Carson. This one was a lot less comfortable than the, the Middlesbrough one. Reading have moved up into the playoffs, so it's two points now, so the team we need to look out for this time round is Reading. So next up, Aston Villa at home. Last match of the episode, let's go. So the team we've gone with for this one, Anik in goal again. Back four, Little, Jones, Wilson, Muscat. In front of them, Williams and Murphy. Then you've got Amiobi, Vela, Connell, Kashka. Yes. Managed to break the offside trap there, Vela. It's got Kashka. Oh, can't quite manage to find him. Can somebody come and support me, please? Thank you. Right, Amiobi cross in. Oh, Luca Connell. Again, it's the Amiobi and Luca Connell. Sammy Amiobi, Luca Connell uh, partnership. Right. Uh, Amiobi, make the friggin' run. Don't just stop halfway through the run. Right, here we go. Right, Mark Little. Can't find Connell, but falls here for Muscat. Oh, what a goal. From your left back, how's that? Uh, <laughs> what's the finish? Um, if we can, if we can reproduce that like more, that would be great. But you know, so straight, so powerful. Keeper didn't stand a chance. Uh, and I don't know what the defender's doing. I think that's supposed to be Tyrone Mings. Put it, sticking his arm out. Right, come on, Connell. Oh, he's missed it. He's fluffed it. He's got Kashka. Oh. Referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. <sighs> two minutes at a time. Just please don't let Villa score. There we go. Half time. 1-0 up at Villa. Much better performance than the 1-0 at Derby. We'll, uh, we'll... Yeah, very happy with that. Jack Grealish gets across in. It wouldn't... Why would it make me be somebody who's not anywhere near the ball? I don't understand it. Right. We have to go for this now. So we're going with this tactic now. It's basically a 4-3-3... Oh, that's too much. Oh, no. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of I mean, the tactic worked. It did create me a chance. Unfortunately, Oz Tuma goes and hits the post. And that's it. Didn't get enough time with that tactic to really... I mean, we've created one chance, which hit the post. So, I think that's our playoff hopes. Pretty much. I mean, we're still there. Still thereabouts, but... Thank you very much for watching. Uh... Please leave a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Hopefully we'll get into the playoffs and that will be a very fun episode. And in the meantime, until the next video, I will see you then.